Hello there and thank you for joining me once again and today's fly is going to be a simple nymph pattern it's in the uh, searching nymph pattern category an attractor nymph a very simple tie it's called the uh, hurl nymph and I got this particular pattern out of my book American Fly Tying Manual by Dave Hughes it's a highly recommended book so I'll uh, get this little guy out of the vise here, a fresh hook in, and I'll get started for you. It's tied on a must head 9671, and I'm tying it on a size 12 here. So we'll get this guy locked in the vise. Okay, now we'll start our thread here. Whoops, no, we won't. First, I'm going to put the weight on him. And I'm using 0.15 lead wire, and I like to cover pretty much the whole shank on this guy. Fair amount of wraps. So we'll wrap this up here, get our lid on here, make a couple more turns this way here and then I'll wiggle this end off and we'll squeeze those wraps together and put it in about the center of the shank like so. Okay next I'll start my lid right behind the uh, lid here Then we'll jump up on top, move forward and wrap in front then we'll come back down and back up and down one more time secure that down well and I'll snip our tag end off here at the rear and there's no tail on this particular pattern so we'll take our peacock curl now and I have four strands here ready to go just gonna line them up even and cut the tips off we don't want those tip sections on there and I'll attach it on top here wrap back a ways and then I'm gonna make my loop to form my peacock rope just make a dubbing loop lock it in place okay then we're gonna wrap forward to where we want to tie off there so now just grab the uh, Throw in the thread loop, give it a little spin just to get it started, set it to the side, then I'm going to take some head cement and a little bead right across the top here, just for some durability purposes. Okay, now we'll begin to wrap our body. Oops, sorry there, I bumped the camera a bit. Now, we'll get this guy started here. As you go, you may have to twist the rope a little bit a few times just to keep it nice and tight. And keep good tension as you're wrapping. And we'll wrap this guy forward. Give it one more turn. And we'll gradually move to our tie-off point. And I'd say one more turn here is fine. It's got to leave room for our ostrich hurl in the front. And we'll tie this off. Lock it in place there, right back. And I'll come in and snip him nice and close here. Okay, so there's a hurl peacock hurl body now. We'll attach our ostrich hurl. And I have one ostrich hurl here ready to tie in. So we'll get this guy tied in here. Just like so. Pinch that guy in here. Okay. Now we'll begin to wrap our hurl. And the key to Aussie Trail is just to make sure you uh, get it going in the right direction. You'll find it goes on a lot nicer. you wrap it one way and you find it's not going on good just reverse that and it usually it'll start wrapping on good for you like this guy here is giving me a little trouble so I'm gonna just reverse the wrap on this guy go the opposite way actually I'm gonna retie a new one in that one's not in the best of shape so I'm gonna pick another hurl an ostrich hurl here different one just bear with me folks ok 
Okay, this one looks like it's a little better. So, I'll tie this one on. And we'll see if this guy will cooperate with me. Okay, then wrap forward. Alright, let's give this guy a try. Alrighty here. Okay, this should work out fine, I believe. Alright, we only need three or four turns on there is what it calls for on the pattern. You don't need a lot of hurl. So that's fine there, I'll tie them off. Lock it in place, snip off that excess. Eventually. Wow, well, okay. <laughs> there we go. So there's our ostrich trail in the front. Now. Yeah. Next thing it calls for is a throat, and the throat is just a few black hackle fibers, and I'm going to use some soft hand hackle fibers here where it's a nymph, and I'm just going to pull off a few, not a whole lot, and it's a fairly sparse amount, and you want it to come back to about the hook point, so we'll pinch that on there couple securing wraps and I'll reach in and snip off the excess nice and close here okay secure those down turn the vise back up now I'll build our head up a little and a whip finish and he's a done deal very simple pattern to tie but I can see it being a fish catcher for sure. I haven't fished this pattern myself, but I, I will for sure. So we'll just throw in a whoops, four or five turn whip finish here, and he's a done deal. Okay. Hey, bring that up. Snug that in nice and tight. Snip off my excess. Okay, and there we have it folks, another size 12 hurl nymph. Then yeah, one last step, bring in my solar res bone dry and I'm going to cover the thread wraps and with that ostrich row up front you want to be super careful that you don't get any on that for sure if you're using resin or head cement. Just want a little coat around the thread wraps. Alrighty, now I'll come in and cure them up real quick here. Okay, he's a done deal. Well, not a hard pattern to tie at all, so I hope you all will give this one a try and add a few to your box for sure. Simple little guy to tie, but uh, definitely will catch fish. So, I want to thank you all for watching once again, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you'd like to, hit the good old subscribe button, I uh, really appreciate the support, and throw in a like too if you wish. So, until next time everyone, happy tying out there, I'll see you all again soon, and so long for now folks.